it's time for the wackiest show on television, America's Funniest Most Wanted. Well, welcome back to America's Funniest Most Wanted, the show that keeps them laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> you don't believe me? Well, take a look at what the security camera saw at the First National Bank last Tuesday. He's holding up the bank, but what's holding up his pants? Not much. Ooh, now he's really mad. Well, maybe he can buy a belt with that money, huh? <laughs> and speaking of keeping your pants up, the working girls are walking the street looking for you, and the police surveillance cameras are looking at them. Hey, big boy. Think you could fall for a girl like me? I could fall for you. <laughs> well, I hope she enjoyed her trip. Well, now, you've heard of married to the mob, but how about buried by the mob? That's what's going to happen to these guys from messing up so bad. This guy's got a very important delivery, if you know what I mean. There he goes. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. And here comes the pickup man. And now, there's spare change all over the sidewalk. <laughs> How's that for a handout? I think it's time to ask ourselves, what are the three rules of stealing a car? Number one, don't steal a pacer. <laughs> Number two, don't ask the police for directions. And number three, don't do what Robert Anderson of Joliet, Illinois did. Here's the master car thief at work. He brings the proper tools. He looks both ways to make sure no one's watching, but the one place he didn't look was inside the car. Wow, talk about a headache. Well, that's it for America's Funniest Most Wanted. And remember, if you see any of these people, don't approach them yourself. They're armed and dangerous. And besides, you might die laughing. <laughs>